Welcome back to News Now from Fox. Continuing our coronavirus coverage right now, I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Brian Kustrauchi. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Rain. So, you know, as leaders continue to roll out the COVID-19 vaccine, we are seeing mass vaccination sites across the country, but some people are still hesitant. But what are medical professionals such as yourself doing to kind of increase confidence when it comes to the coronavirus vaccines? Well, one of the things we did at the De Beaumont Foundation is we've been doing some polling to help understand what messages work best uh, for people to help allay their concerns. When you think about it, so much marketing is done to get us to you know, pick which clothes to wear, or, you know, where to eat, and we need to put those same methods to work to help people feel better about the vaccine, answer their questions, and help them make the right choice going forward. Are there any communities of particular interest that have less confidence in the coronavirus vaccine than others? Well, there are several communities that have um, some concerns about the vaccine. Um, rural communities, uh, black communities, especially among people 18 to 49, uh, Republicans 18 to 49, and, and young women 18 to 49 all have shown some hesitancy or some concern um, greater than the national average. And we're going to have to really be thoughtful about how we engage those groups. And, and mostly we're going to have to really follow three tips. Um, we need to personalize this and make it about protecting your family your friends, we're gonna to have to make sure that we use positive language. Don't just tell us it's gonna happen that's bad if we don't take the vaccine. Let's focus on getting back to, uh, back to school, back to our Super Bowl parties, back to our celebrations and our birthday parties. You know, give people something to look forward to if they take the vaccine. And, and lastly, we have to be non-judgmental. And words like hesitancy and skepticism, we have to be very careful about using those words. We need to normalize concern. Um, it's okay to have questions about this vaccine, and it's okay to be a little concerned. So let's make sure that we're opening up a conversation by saying, I understand your concerns. Um, how can I answer your questions? Dr. Kastrucci, we're talking about those who may be concerned with taking the coronavirus vaccine, but what about those who are ready and willing to take it, but are running into roadblocks? What, what can we learn from this situation? We can learn that leadership is super important. Um, you know, we've not had a national strategy in rolling out this vaccine. We've left it to the states. Um, you know, Rain, I have two chronic conditions myself, and where I am in Maryland, there are six different websites that I have to try to navigate to get my, my appointment. And so I understand and empathize with people, and we just need patience, and we have to be ready that when we are able to take the vaccine, that we're willing to do so. That's what's gonna get us back to um, uh, the economy that we want, the lifestyles we want. We're gonna have to work together and get, use the vaccine and, and mask wearing to beat this virus, which will help our economic recovery. You mentioned that taking the vaccine will get us back to some sense of normalcy. I think a lot of people are wondering when will that be and what will it look like? So if I could tell the future with that you know, level of, of accuracy, then I would be gambling on football and, and not doing public health. And so I, I don't think we really know. You know, what I think we do know is that everybody in our nation has lost something because of this virus. And that could have been a family member or a friend, a business that we worked our whole lives to build, um, or even some of the contact that we expect with, with people on a daily basis. And we all have anxiety about when we'll get back to normal. And we need to really focus on those things so that we can encourage people to take the vaccine and to continue to wear masks and follow public health guidelines until this crisis is behind us. But if there's one thing in our somewhat polarized nation is we have to focus on the fact that all of us have lost something, we all have anxiety, and using those commonalities, we should bring ourselves together to fight this common enemy. Yeah, it's definitely best to live in the moment. Whenever most of the population receives a vaccine, you mentioned that that is the key, the first step towards some sense of normalcy, but things don't change overnight. What kind of behavior should people who receive the vaccine continue to take? Well, even as we 
start taking the vaccine, uh, many people are still going to be vulnerable. Um, until we get to 80 or 90 percent, um, we're going to continue to need to wear masks and stay socially distant and practice um, basic public health prevention measures. Um, and, and you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it to protect your family. You're doing it to protect your loved ones, your friends. I mean, that's why we're doing this, right? This, if I told you, if you washed your hands, you could save someone's life, you would be at the sink in two seconds, right? And that's the same idea we need to have now. Just wearing a mask, that's gonna save someone's life. And so I'm willing to do that to save someone that I know and even someone that I don't know. You know, this weekend is typically a weekend where many friends and family and neighbors gather together. Of course, things are different for the Super Bowl because of COVID-19. What advice can you give those who are choosing to celebrate? How can people celebrate but still remain safe? So one of the first things to think about is Raymond James Stadium, where we're hosting the Super Bowl this year has a capacity of 66,000 people. And so with those who have died thus far from COVID, we could fill that stadium seven times over with those that we've lost to, to coronavirus. And so when we're choosing how we're going to celebrate, the rules that we've had for Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's still persist. You know, the safest thing to do is celebrate with your family. I am a huge, a uh, football fan. I am a diehard New England Patriots fan. So I will be happily rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs tomorrow uh, with my family. But I'm not going to go to an indoor event with people who I've not been quarantining with. Um, if you are going to be around people, try to make sure it's outside. Wear a good fitting mask and stay as far apart as you can. Dr. Brian Castrucci, a national public health expert and epidemiologist, also president of the day Beaumont Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us today on News Now from Fox. Some of our viewers will now see a two-minute commercial break.